everybody, my name is Dr. Mike Blaney. I'm a bariatric surgeon in Augusta, Georgia. Today we're going to talk about the pouch reset. And this is a question uh, that many patients kind of see on the internet and, and ask me about. So what's, what's the story about the pouch reset? Uh, years after surgery, patients will notice, regardless if it's a sleeve or a bypass, that they were once eating an incredibly small amount of food in the very beginning. And then after a year or two, the volume of food an individual can consume tends to increase. Now, keep in mind, we'll never be as much as you may currently be eating prior to surgery. It'll always be small, but many patients start to feel like maybe their diet's getting out of control and that they're gonna regain weight. And they like that sense of security, knowing that in the beginning when they were eating very small portions, they were feeling very full. Um, so what I think happens in this regard is over time, the, the pouch in the case of the gastric bypass or the stomach in case of the sleeve gradually uh, regains a little more compliance. In other words, it stretches a little bit more. Now, I don't think the pouch stretches out and becomes huge or big again, and sometimes patients will, will claim that their stomach grew back or they got a new stomach and it's huge again. Really, that's not the case. I just think that there's just a little more compliance to the tissue, the stomach tissue, as time goes along. So. Um, some patients will uh, feel like if they go on a liquid diet for a period of time, usually a week or two weeks, that it seems like the stomach shrinks back down. And then when they go back to eating more solid foods, at least for several days or a week or so, they have this sensation that they're much more full with a small meal, once like they did uh, back in the very beginning after surgery. So to me, that's what I consider the pouch reset. Is it a way to lose weight? when maybe we're struggling to maintain our weight? Possibly, but it's a short-term uh, um, solution. We need to understand that maintaining your weight loss after weight loss surgery is all about behavior. It's about consistently eating a healthy, low-carb, high-protein diet, consistently being engaged in physical activity, and another component to long-term weight loss that oftentimes gets overlooked is consistent follow-up. We coach our patients in our practice that follow-up's really important to keep you on track because it's a lot easier if we've regained 10 pounds to deal with the 10 pounds of weight gain as opposed to dealing with, let's say, 50 pounds of weight gain years later. So hopefully this was helpful. For more topics about weight loss surgery, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.